there. I'm Karen McCarthy and it's time to Karenize. Today I'm going to be making a project for a friend. Um, it is a transfer from Psalm 119, 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. She saw one of my workshop attenders make one and fell in love with it. So I'm using this board. It's just a very inexpensive board that I painted with a, a light brown color painted crackle medium. I'll show you what that looks like. This over that, you let the brown dry, paint it with crackle. The thicker you paint the crackle, the bigger the cracks. So I kind of do kind of a moderate one. You let that dry completely and then paint your top color. And then I just took, um, I thought I had everything. I took one of these pads. It's so easy to distress the edges. You just go like this and they're distressed so it makes it look kind of aged which I love that look okay first thing to consider remember to put your hanger at the top I don't know how many times I've not paid attention and I put it upside down and then I have to move the hanger around okay so this transfer has been used a lot it's very popular so I'm not going to have to fuzz it but normally we have a fuzzing cloth you can use your pant leg you can use a towel and we just get a little bit of lint on the back just so that the transfer doesn't stick too much to the surface. Um, we love it that they're self-sticking. We can use them over and over and over, but until they start getting worn out like this one, you don't want them to stick too much. So I'm gonna put this down so you can see what I'm doing. I am just carefully smoothing out all of the air bubbles. Being even more careful this time just because there's not much stick left. Oh, and you know what? I've got some leaves here. I need to grab a green. I forgot to grab green. Okay. So, let's open this up. Um, what I want to do when I first open up chalk paste is stir it up. This one hasn't been used for a while. Because it is chalk paste, oh, this stir stick is not going to be um, strong enough. Let me just wipe off one of these that I had used a little bit ago. Um, it starts to dry out. It's chalk paste. It's not paint. So it will actually start to dry off, dry out. All right, let me get this out of the way so I don't get it on my surface. And I'm just going to stir, stir, stir. The proper consistency is like yogurt or cake batter. I can see I've got some stuff dried up here. I could rehydrate this, but I'm just gonna get it out of the way for now because I don't wanna take the time to mess around with it. By rehydrating, I mean I add distilled water and just let it sit for a while. This one is still pretty thick, so I'm gonna spritz some distilled water in here. We use distilled water rather than tap water so that it doesn't get moldy or mildew. Tap water can have some nasty stuff in it. All right, so I'm just gonna mix this up most of my chalk paste dried completely out. I mean, I'm talking solid because for about two years I wasn't able to do any crafting. Um, and so I've rehydrated it and it's not as creamy. I mean, it looks like, um, like the brown looks like chocolate pudding when it's ripe, but it will still work. I mean, it's just not as creamy as it normally would be, but still works fine. I hate having to throw things away. All right, let me just get the extra stuff off, find a place to put this. I get it all over me, so I'm gonna get a wet wipe and wipe my hands off. The, what I love about chalking with these silk screen transfers is that you don't have to be talented, you don't have to be artistic, and you look like you are. There's just a couple of techniques to learn, and then you're good to go. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is the words. This is going to take a little longer, so I'm going to do the words. And my friend's favorite color is purple, so she asked that the words be in a purple, a dark purple. So I am just going to blot. Whoa, yeah, it's not sticking at all. Woo! It's a little more challenge when it's not sticking because you don't want it to move. When they stick, they're wonderful. So much better than a traditional stencil because... Um, you don't get all that bleeding. Now, since this one's not sticking real well, I may get some of that bleeding around the edges. I'm just gonna wipe it through until I don't see any of the background coming through. 
I'm going very carefully, like I say, since it's not sticking super well. Seems to be doing pretty good though. This, I don't know how many times this transfer has been used, but quite a few. All right, then I'm just gonna scrape off all the extra. Put it right back into the jar. I'm not gonna be able to do that with some of this because I'm probably going to be getting other colors on my squeegee, but for that one, I can. Got more on my hand, so what did I do with my wet wipe? There it is. All right. I'm just going to lift this up, take a peek at it. Oh yeah, that turned out fine. I'm just gonna lay it back down, but not adhere it really well. And then I'm gonna move on to the lantern. I'm gonna move it sideways this way. Um, we're gonna make the lantern black and I've got a shimmer black. It's got just a little bit of glitter in it. So pretty. And that'll make this look a little bit more metallic. All right, I'm gonna go as close to the flowers as I can. And then I'm gonna get a special tool to get a little bit closer. This one has a real delicate flower design down here at the bottom of the lantern. Okay, I'm not gonna scrape the extra off because I'm not going to be lifting that up for a little bit. I brought a tool, here it is. <laughs> I haven't used this. I got this one from Magnolia Design. It's supposed to make it easier to get into smaller places. So I'm gonna use it to I just have to make sure that I'm working it through the transfer. Let's make sure that it did. Oh yeah. Work it through the transfer and get all, whoops, all these little, little places. It's a little more tricky when you've got tiny spots like this. The key is to work it through the transfer with this thing, I think. It's easy to paint it right on top, but the squeegee pushes it right through real easily. This one is, I think, gonna be a little bit more challenging, but like I said, I haven't used it before, so we'll see, let's see. Oh yeah, it's working. Okay. I've gotta keep moving it so I don't get my hand in the chalk paste I've already put down. There are all kinds of things you can do to get fancy with these, but um, I like the, the quick, roll it fast, get a project done quickly. <laughs> okay, let's make sure that that's going through. Let's see, I see a little bit more of the lantern over here. So if you're watching, I would love it if you would subscribe, hit like, make a comment. Those kinds of things really help our channels to um, reach more people. And my channel is a baby channel. It's just getting started. So I would really appreciate help in that direction. Okay, I see a big glob here. I'm going to take that off. All right. Just because I think the flowers are going to take... Oh, look, I just got green on. The flowers are going to take a little bit longer. I'm going to get all of the extra off here, put it back in the jar, wash my hand again. I think I need another wet wipe. <laughs> I just, I, I'm a happy crafter. I make a mess, but I clean it up. Okay, then I'm going to lift this part up. The reason I do that is just so that it doesn't, if it gets completely dry and you lift it up, it can pull some of the chalk paste. And sometimes that creates a very cool distressed look and other times it just creates, looks like it pulled it up. Okay. I gotta get this back glued on around the flowers. Now the flowers, the last, person who used this must have 
It must not have gotten washed for a while because it did stain the transfer. So it's a little difficult to see what's going on there, but we'll see. Okay, I'm gonna use, what am I gonna use? I think I'm gonna use this. And she wanted yellow and pink flowers. So let me get some pink. And I'm gonna go in here and do this flower pink. And I'll do this flower pink. And I think I'll do this one over here pink. It's kind of, I'm kind of hard to see. Oh, there's a flower there and a flower. Okay. Yeah, with the, the transfer stained like that with such a delicate design, it's a little bit difficult to see what's going on. I may have to order another one of these. Okay, now we'll get some yellow. We'll do this flower yellow. And this flower over here yellow. So tell me if you guys have ever used any of the silk screen transfers. Um, there's two companies that I do business with. One is Top Couture. I believe that they were the original and then Magnolia Design. Um, they both have great products. I think I'm gonna try just using the little stir stick for the leaves cause they are pretty delicate. I've been using these materials, I think since we figured out last night, 2018, I think. It was a very bad snowstorm. I mean, we got dumped on tons and tons of snow and really couldn't leave the house. And I happened to have just gotten a little kit from a friend and I thought, well, let me try this out and fell in love with it. I have it all over my house. I even have put some things on some of my um, cupboards in the kitchen on an old fashioned heat register grate kind of thing that's on the wall. Um, sorry, I was trying to figure out if I want, I think I'm gonna grab my pink and just add a little bit more pink right here. Um, I have, have it all over my house and I love how easy it is to get new designs for every season. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Yeah, the flowers are so delicate. All right, there it is. And that's how easy it is to make what looks very complicated, but is very simple with chalk, um, silk screen cho uh, transfers. Oh, I can't even think. So anyway, thanks for joining me and I will talk to you guys later.